My name's John Glenn, and I'm the government minister responsible for financial services. Being able to talk about money is really important. It helps us all to make the right financial decisions and sheds that stress and anxiety that we can all feel when it comes to money. And that's been particularly true through the pandemic over the last 18 months. It can feel awkward sometimes, of course it can, but having a conversation with someone you can trust can make all the difference in the world. As a government minister, it's also really important to me that people understand the policies that we introduce, what we're trying to do and why. That's why I'm so pleased that this year's theme for Talk Money Week is children and young people and how we can support their financial education. As a government, we're determined to do everything we can to help people manage their money. That means things like the Money and Pension Services 10-year UK strategy for financial well-being, which includes the goal of 2 million more children and young people getting a meaningful financial education by the end of this decade. It also means a new breathing space scheme for people in problem debt, so that borrowers who are struggling, even when they are receiving mental health crisis treatment, can get legal protection from their creditors and start to get their finances back on track. Savings is a big part of this too, and our Help to Save scheme launched in September 2018 aims to support working people on low incomes to build their financial resilience while kickstarting a regular long-term savings habit. I'm no financial expert, but my guidance to people is to just look for help if you need it, be it from a friend or a family member or a free not-for-profit debt advisor or even your bank. And if you're not sure where to start, there's a brilliant free and impartial service called Money Helper, which can help you take the first step. There's also plenty of opportunity for people to get involved in helping others, including the Talk Money Toolkit for schools, as well as the Money and Pension Services Schools Guidance being published this week which is specially designed to support teachers. The need is there, but so is the will to help. And together we can crack this, transforming financial understanding for young and old with all the benefits that that will bring. Thank you.